Good morning, good day everybody. How are you guys doing today? Come on, let me know, let me know. Is everybody doing all right? Oh my God, Theo, with the camera every day, we have to fix the camera. Huh? We have to position the camera. Okay, guys, how are you doing? How is trading going? Anything exciting? Any trade setup? Actually, I posted, I just posted on the trading view, on my trading view account, um, a comment on the WTI. If you want, please go and check it out. Why not? So let's start with the Australian dollar and the US dollar. So here is the four hour time frame. The price moved to the upside after uh, creating this consolidation that for some traders, maybe this is a bullish order block, but for me, I want something a bit more um, confirmation. Yeah, we do understand that this is an area that the, the buyers uh, came in and pushed the price to the upside the inside support around this price level 0 0.6600 hold it and the um, uh, and and the bounce occur but this uh, outside dodgy long leg dodgy candle still post the price for the last two days and uh, hopefully we will see some more retracement here otherwise uh yeah the price will bounce and move to the upside now at this point here the price lost its pace the market lost its pace actually and uh, we must be a bit patient now if you guys are going to the hourly time frame to enter some trades for example for example here on the hourly time frame the market made this higher high and of course the higher low so we can define this either channel or just the upward trend line and afterwards a bearish morabozu candle broke this one hour upward trend line therefore the market on this hourly time frame it looks more bearish than bullish now some traders who are trading uh, solely the um, the order blocks on the hourly time frame they might use this one as their reference order block to look for short positions be mindful that here also some activity occurred and this is the highest point so if you're gonna wait for a kind of retracement to enter short and you want to place your stop loss it's easier to place either the stop loss above here or above there okay so this is the analysis for the US dollar guys uh, if you want to see analysis on any other on any particularly any other currency pair just let me know so on the hourly time frame new zealand again it created this bearish candle here but it didn't break the low below this um bullish um how do we call this one now that's the dragonfly dragonfly dodgy candle it's fairly bullish uh, if the price will break this low here, then we will confirm this as a bearish order block. Okay, guys, I hope it makes sense. Next one on the euro. Uh, the euro here looks like more bearish. If by the end of this hourly candle, it's going to um, stay as a bearish engulfing, we might see the euro moving further down. And retesting these areas of support or down here great british pound uh, found support at the fibonacci withdrawal on the four hour time frame you guys see that 
we started from there to the low, sorry, the, the low here. That was the last impulsive move to the high up there. Fibonacci, it's somewhere here, the 61.8% and the 50%. And the price found support and, of course, bounced upwards. We expected to see continuation to the upside, but again, we don't know what's going to happen, if this is going to be a transition period. On the US dollar, Canadian dollar, the market found the support here. Oh, it bounced to the upside. Now it's trading sideways. I'm not interested in this one here. No biases. USD Suisse. USD Suisse it looks like it moves higher. Let's see if it's gonna make it to this inside resistance. Um, I'm still holding the long position here, yes. <laughs> Which it's uh, it's great. So looking a little bit for more on the USD Suisse, looking a little bit for more bullishness here. Uh, USD JPY. I still have the alert to um, notify if the price tapped into this bullish order block to take some trades, but so far everything looks bullish for this one. That's a four hour time frame. If we go down to the hourly time frame, there is an ascending triangle form, so a break to the upside is more probable. Pound JPY, it's a bit messy on the hourly time frame, on the daily chart. Mm, no, it's a little bit messy, this one here, guys. We don't have any clarity if this is an uptrend, a downtrend, or sideways. Euro JPY, price is at this hourly resistance. Here is the hourly support. So if the price remains, if the price actually um, ended up as a uh, rejection around this 161.900 or 162 if we move 10 pips above yep we might see the price to move lower okay so far from the euro Australia from the euro US dollar and the pound US dollar we see that the euro is uh, weaker than the great British pound Next one, Aussie, Japanese Yen, it entered at this area of resistance. On the daily chart, I marked this monthly resistance. And on the four hour time frame, we, we um, identify this bearish engulfing order block right here. I don't know if I can make it a bit thicker, if it will help better. Is that better? Oh. Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, hold on guys that's the bearish one so the price entered at this four hour order block and uh, yeah let's see what's going to happen if it's going to retrace if it's going to move downward if you are about to trade short at this one here just make sure that you are not trading against the higher time frame trend. Okay, so for this one it looks bearish rather than bullish. So let's see what's going to happen. Next one, Euro Oz, uh, still sideways here. That's a four hour time frame. The market didn't move anywhere. So not interested. Eurocat, oh my god, this one here, the weekly, the, the price it's currently at the weekly close. On the daily chart, there is an area of resistance here. We see the price stayed within these areas. Usually, I don't like to draw resistance and support these areas. I prefer the numbers because they are more accurate. But on the four hour time frame, we see the market is moving sideways. Yeah, maybe there are some sell off to occur, but here is the low 
support on the four hour time frame so if you're going to trade uh, the hourly time frames or any time frame below that just ensure you understand where is the intraday support this one i pointed and that one i pointed as well okay guys and with the euro new zealand pretty much still goes nowhere this one uh, gold gold we have to wait yesterday we commented about the retracement here that we might gonna see more continuation to the downside but the price entered uh, stayed actually as an inside candle right the one you see here guys oh. this one here stayed as an inside candle and uh, we have to wait and see what's going to happen us oil yesterday it was a bullish nice bullish uh, impulsive move to the upside on the four hour time frame we spotted this uh, bullish engulfing and hammer at support also on the one hour chart it was a more well-defined bullish engulfing that um, push the move to the upside last night uh, we I host a webinar for the trading kit prop firm guys and it was one of the very very informative webinars and uh, I encourage everybody to visit the trading kit uh, YouTube channel and I believe today or tomorrow they're gonna upload it the team will upload it so you have the chance to read it it's about the author blocks and I delve very into the author block setups and valid and not valid. Also, here at the Trading View, if you don't follow me on the Trading View, please make sure you do at Market Minds Master. It's the same name because I post regularly some kind of informative, um, not necessarily setups, but like um, why that author block failed. And I encourage you, everyone, to go and watch that one. So on the daily chart, this is uh, moving upward. So on the hourly time frame, we might want to look for some bullish opportunities here. Okay. So the um, the or the the order block that I identify here, it's right at the bottom. It's this one here. Let's see if the price comes into this area. We're gonna might look for some bounce. Okay, maybe it's going to happen in the next few days and not necessarily today. Regarding Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin on the hourly time frame, it made actually today, it made a new all time high at 73,748. Um, yes, there are divergences here. If you guys saw that bearish divergence um, among with the uh, you know, rising in the price but this is not a reversal pattern that it's going to reverse the trend first it's going to change the face of the trend and it's going to enter it into a corrective phase if it's going to be reversed it will be reversed okay um ethereum didn't make the new high actually that's the hourly time frame if you're trading the ethereum the price bounced from this order block yesterday and pushed to the upside Solana, it's one of the uh, one of my favorites, actually, and I invest in Solana rather than trading. Okay, and basically with the with the cryptos, I am more investor than it, than uh, trading. I trade the currencies because of their uh, fluctuations, and it's easier to to spot the moves on the currencies. Okay, um, Ripple, it's another promising one. Impulsive move to the upside, price is hold around 67 cents, so maybe we're going to see some more bullishness. Okay, guys, that's all from me today. We covered all the majors. We covered the major indices. Uh, actually, sorry, the indices. We didn't cover the indices. US uh, 100 or Nasdaq on the four hour price moves nowhere, so there is, we don't see any market structure here. On the US 500, um, price is approaching let's say this all-time resistance high let's see if it's gonna move there and break above it 
uh, and the German 40, a new high is about to be made today. Oh my God, this German 40, it just goes and goes and goes. On the daily chart, shallow retracements yesterday, another dodgy candle. Let's see if this dodgy candle at resistance is going to uh, be as valuable to, uh, to traders. So if the price will decline from here, we might see it coming and retesting this area down there. Okay. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe on the YouTube channel. And especially if you are new here and you're interested in uh, our services, you're at Market Mind Mastery. We offer coaching for private traders and investors. Um, if you want, feel free to book a 15 minute introduction session with me. Here is a calendar. Or if you, um, if you, are, tr if you are trading for a while and you need coaching, please feel free to book any one of the uh, of the packages here. We have just the six session and 10 sessions with, um, I believe, very fair prices for everyone and affordable. So if you need anything, please make sure you contact us from here. I will share also the Market Mind Mastery uh, page. So you contact us and we can uh, talk more about what you need there. Okay. So I would like to wish to everyone to have a fantastic day ahead, guys. Um, and I look forward to see you tomorrow at the same time. Thank you and bye, everyone.